Greetings and salutations. Welcome to a Let's Play here on Kinda Funny Games. My name is Colin Moriarty. Uh, today I want to show you Shovel Knight's new DLC, Spectre of Torment, which isn't out yet. Uh, my buddies over at Yacht Club uh, sent me a package file and playing it on PC. Uh, this is the new piece of DLC. I'm actually looking here at the date 2014 to 2017. It is amazing that it has been almost three years since this game came out, the original Shovel Knight, which as you know, I was a huge, huge uh, proponent uh, for and of. Uh, it's important to note that I'm pretty close to the studio, so you can take everything I say with a grain of salt, but I really do love Shovel Knight. I think it's fantastic. Um, I actually really didn't like the previous piece of DLC, which had you playing as Plague Knight. Uh, a little piece of kind of funny trivia for you. Uh, Tim and I actually did a Let's Play for it, and we never even posted it because we didn't like it that much. Um, it just wasn't a good Let's Play. It just wasn't interesting at all. Um, in this particular, uh, uh, or for this particular piece of DLC, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. This is my first time playing it. We're going to get in, play as Spectre Knight, and see what... Uh, everything holds for us here. Of course, you can also play as Shovel Knight uh, if you want, but we all know what that's all about. <clears throat> now, as far as I know, this will... Oh, let's read for a second. So I can play the, the, uh, the Plains or Polar Knights. I guess I'll go there. I am prepared. Um, so what I was going to say was, as far as I know, this DLC will be available uh, on all platforms that the game originally came out on. Um, again, I am playing it on PC. And remember that it's even coming to Nintendo Switch. All right, so we're here uh, in, this, uh, in this stage here. Beautiful parallax scrolling, beautiful background. Very reminiscent of Castlevania, the castle. Um, Spectre Knight has this interesting little thing where he can wall jump and also climb up, and then you can press the analog stick over. Um, so I'll show you here a little bit, kill this enemy. Um, I can do this and just... Bounce like that, kind of like, uh, you know, very Ninja Gaiden, like if you play the original three Ninja Gaiden games on NES. So that's pretty neat. Um, but we're going forward. Oh, and he can only connect, okay, so the green, interesting. So he can't attach himself to, to the foliage here. He can't attach himself here. He has to attach himself here. Very interesting, okay. So we'll have to figure out how to get out of this. I think we're just gonna jump up and go like that. And that little flip jump he does forward happens automatically, in case you guys are curious, by just pressing to the right. I'm playing with the, uh, the analog stick, actually. I'm not a huge fan of the D-pad on the Xbox One controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller, as you can see. I can't let that just sit there. I gotta get it. Okay. Okay, so, so far, I mean, I like the way this feels way more than I like the way Spectre Knight feels. Like, uh, um, or Plague Knight, I'm sorry. Get a little secret. Ooh, what is that? that doesn't, is that something I can collect? Yes. All right, I don't know what that does. We'll find out, I guess, shortly. Is it an item I need? Let's see. Yeah. Trade these in to unlock new curios. Okay, so. Tattered Crimson Cloak, Keepsake Locket, Keepsake Locket, okay. Oh, I can just jump on it to destroy him, okay, easy enough. So, uh, as you guys know, I'm, again, a, a huge Shovel Knight fan, was really happy to platinum it on Vita. Um, really, really loved it and enjoyed it. Hope you guys kind of like it as well. Oh, what is this? This is another little interesting thing they're introducing here. So that just sends you forward and then it can send you back. That's cool. All right, it's like a little lantern. Save point. Remember, you can destroy save points if you want as well, if you want the gold. It's a little risk-reward kind of system. So here we're going to have to use a little bit of both. Okay, and then here we can just do this, I assume, and get that little guy. So, so far, so good. Oh, all right, so we, we're familiar with this guy. from Shovel Knight's quest, of course. Pick up the loot. Hopefully we can be able to use in a town. Oh, so this one, oh, okay, so this is very interesting. So we can time it a little bit. And it looks like you can actually, actually that little prompt appeared, it looks like you can do it to enemies too, the little slash jump maneuver. I like this a lot. Kevin's saying it's cool, I agree. God, if you haven't played the original Shovel Knight, you really got it. I don't care where you play it. I, you know, I played it first on Wii U and PC, and I loved it. Um, 
But in case you're just watching this out of curiosity, I really do highly recommend the game. It is so fantastic, especially if you love old school games like me. Uh, so let's see. Oh, how do we get... Oh, I think I ruined that one. Can I jump on the bubbles? Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. So, so I wonder, was there a speaker with the dragon? Probably. I love that. Look how beautiful the backgrounds are. Just absolutely beautiful. What a, what a great artistic vision they had for this game. Um, beautiful pixel art. Very complicated to do. It's a lost art, as, you, as we talked about on the Games Cast and on PS I Love You, etc. in the past. Uh, 2.5D is so part of the zeitgeist because it's so much cheaper and so much easier to do than to do this kind of art. But when you have this kind of art, it really makes all the difference, I think. Oh. He eats like some some sort of gnarly looking. <laughs> He's a little beast. Yeah, so you see you can actually do like aerial combos. It's pretty neat once you get the hang of them, which I haven't yet, as you can see. Ah. I think we gotta get that secret up there. like riding a bike. That feels just a little bit different than the bike you're used to. I love that traversal, yeah. it's beautiful. beautiful. See what, there's a ladder there on the left as you guys can see, but let's see what's over here first. Is this the first map? No, I, I think it's a reworking of it. I think it's a new one because it said it was Black Knight's map. I don't know, it, like the introductory map, I'm not really sure. It reminds me of the intro map because here, yeah. if there's a music note at the end, that's at least. So here, this will be interesting. Let's see if we can do it. Got to kind of sacrifice yourself just a little bit. I'm liking it, Kev. I'll tell you what. Looks good, man. So we proceed on. Oh, I don't want to mess this up. Let's, there we go. Get that currency that we can use in town. I don't know if we'll be able to use it in this uh, in this particular uh, demo that they've batched up for us here. And depending on your watching this, if you're going to Pack South, it should be this should be playable there. Um, oh, there was a secret down there. Oh, okay. Well, let's take a look. See then. I don't know if I can make that jump. I might have killed someone that I should have. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, my screen. I'm playing off of my laptop here. It's a little dim. There we go. You're right. Very good eye. Mm -hmm. God, I love. Look at the blue and orange up there, man. It's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, we're going and we're going. What is this? So he can only climb for a little bit and then he'll flip back. So you can't actually start the climb from like down here and then do it all the way. He'll just jump over. So you have to, so you can do it. There's also grass there at the go. top. Oh, yeah. So that didn't slow you down. Cool. Willful Wisp, prolong your undead on death by increasing max will. Cool. So will is his health, I suppose. Let's hit the, hit the save point. We won't get too drastic here. There's no more. Uh, I thought they were gonna keep coming. I, I can't get that guy. Oh. If you go back, yeah. There we go. Cool. This little son of a bitch. Kill yourself. Ugh. I don't know if I was gonna get knocked into the pit there. Okay, so this is what we were talking about before. Man, his movements are awesome. Yeah, the animation's beautiful. Not very ele uh, elegant at it yet, but I'll get there. Oh. Could I? Yes. Oh! Ah. Uh. Very close. What we see here, we're almost to the end. Got to go back and do this again. So we'll keep going. 
Not heavy. They're not red anymore. Did you see the skull is not red anymore? Yeah, because I I got it. So oh, I think okay. it's I think I it, if I go back into the menu, oops. Um you can it's see here nine out of hundred yeah, and yeah, I got yeah. nine out of ten in this stage. So I think that they're finite. Same thing with this guy here. All right. Oh, I'm I'm trying to figure out how I'm controlling the angle of the, you know, like that shows the thing going up and to the right or down and to the right. Not yeah, because you were sure. able to go backwards a second ago. I wonder if I just keep pressing up. I like that they've, you know, part of me is frustrated with Yacht Club a little bit because I, I feel like they could have had a sequel out to this game already. But I do like that they're they're taking their time doing whatever it is they're doing and kind of exploring the inherent mechanics of the game in a way to make it feel new even though it's kind of the same thing, which I think is pretty neat. There we go. I might be messing around with my bags of loot. I don't even care. I don't need it for this. If I was playing by myself, I'd probably be obsessing over those, but it's not worth it. Not right now. I think you're right, though. It seems like there's a little pieces of that, that introductory stage here. It's, I haven't played the game since it came to PlayStation. Um, so it's been almost two years. But uh, I think you're probably right about that. Do you think there's anything over there I should go look at? Doesn't look like from here. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can get the angle on that. Wait, what if you try going... Well, it doesn't matter. Well, hold on a second. Let me save. Like, try sliding down. Oops. Oh. Try sliding down, and then yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, this looks tricky. Oh, right oh. down. Well, I'm glad I saved. Let's leave that one for another time. All right. I like how complicated it is. Yeah. It's cool. It ramps way more. Because that was actually one of my complaints about the original Shovel Knight, was it was just <gasps> not hard enough. Oh wow, you can knock him off of it, it's awesome. I love that, and it like that. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Spectre Knight's a G. Tell you. Should we go and do try to do Polar Knight stage? Yeah. Kevin's giving the emphatic nod. So it kicks you right out because I it is it is a Pax South demo. They don't want you on the station forever, but we're not at Pax South. We're here in the goddamn kind of funny studio. So let's play a Spectre Knight. Talk to the Dark Acolyte again. And this time we can go to the pol uh, Stranded Ship. Polar Knight, one of the great characters. I love the... Tinker Knight's always been my favorite. I love Tinker Knight, but um, they're all cool. So this is already a different stage. I, I don't recognize this, but maybe I'm wrong. So the slipperiness... It's gonna be tough. Yeah, these conveyor belts are new. That's cool. 
You can already tell where this is going. The music's so good. Yeah, this is this is not for new Shovel Knight players. <laughs> Definitely play the campaign first with Shovel Knight. The sliding on the scythe is one of the coolest. Like that is awesome. <coughs> the animations are beautiful. See if I can get. God, I'm already like back in the swing. I love it, man. I I would just love Shovel Knight. It's so good. Does it get any better than this? You fools! Oh, I shouldn't have killed him. What do you mean? Go to that other area. You killed that guy, but you can't go off back. Oh, is that true? Yeah, okay. That's okay. true. That's true. Okay. Yep. No, he's not back, that guy. I know. I don't think so. No. Wasn't the red beetle that you killed the second guy? It was this thing here, this purple thing I needed. I killed it. Right? Is he over here? Oh, no, he's right. You're right. He's here. I just didn't go far enough, so I have to get on this side of him. There you go, Kevin. You're always thinking, Kevin. You're always thinking. You're always right on top of it, aren't you? So my one complaint with the way he's, he's very sticky. It's, it is, again, similar to Ninja Gaiden. Like, he just sticks to walls. Um, so that can be a little frustrating if that's not what you're trying to do. But better safe than sorry with that stuff. It would be way more frustrating in the inverse. So... There's no elegant design solution to that. I like how he eats little apple cores instead of apples. It's cool. Yeah. Oop. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh, a mini boss. Holy Jesus. Ha! <laughs> awesome. This mini boss is rad. Oh god, what is this bird? Oh shit. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> is that trail that leaves slippery? Uh I don't think so. It's 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 the, so that's what I was gonna say about that, which is pretty cool, is that it's using assets. That rainbow platform is an asset from the original game, but that enemy isn't, so like they're they're mixing things up a little bit, which is, which is neat. Is this like water? Can I go in it? No. So he just reappears and he loses a ton of health, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> that was stupid. Very stupid. You can't cling on the, you can't cling on to the walls? They're like wooden? Oh, maybe. Yep. Kevin, you're always... Trying to be helpful, You're bud. always thinking, though. You're always thinking. I'm rushing through. You're thinking long and hard. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, okay. Cool. It's like Zelda.
<laughs> that animation is awesome. This is fucking cool, man. These puzzles are neat. Oops. Let's just let's just get to the heart of the matter. It's like Don Henley said. These things fall and stay permanently down, I remember. <laughs> I gotta get on this wall. Yeah. so cool how uh, Yacht Club can make a game that like totally changes. Yeah, based on the mechanics. Yeah. I mean, these are this is a masterclass of design. Just an absolute masterclass in design. Like, as anyone can see, that's has two eyes. I love that they're little apple cores. It's so funny. Some fucking creepy ass shit, whatever they are. All right, we're moving. We're going. Ha! A lot of lots yeah. one pack well, on the stage. Well, you can go back there, right? Or no? You got That's that how you one get that least, one. Yeah. That's cool. There's a lot to unpack. There's way more to unpack in terms of the puzzles here. Uh, I, again, I really think it's obvious that this is made for people that are, are have mastered the original. <laughs> Polar Knight's awesome. That was a big ass shovel. Does that? That's annoying. Mm. 
eat shit, Polar Knight. All right. Well, I believe that those are the two stages we have access to here um, in uh, our new Shovel Knight DLC, Spectre of Torment. Uh, thank you so much to my friends at, at Yacht Club Games for making this available to us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share it with your friends. Let everyone, all the Shovel Knight fans know around the world that this is coming very soon. And again, depending on your watching this, you might be able to go hands-on with it at PAX South. Uh, okay, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all your support. And until next time, I'm Colin Moriarty. Thank you for watching.